The United Nations is committed through the SDGs to, amongst many, many other things, reducing lethal violence. And at the moment, we don't have strong evidence about what the scale of the problem is. The figure is often used somewhere just over half a million people die violently every year. But really, that is a, it's an estimate. We need to know what we're talking about. We need to know what the situation is and how that develops year by year. Currently, the way that the, both the academic and practitioner communities track death, it's spread across a number of different data sets, uh, which each have their own methods and, and rules for how that data is collected, how it's coded. Uh, and it creates this situation where there's no holistic view on violent death across the world. We miss uh, where the information is not available, <laughs> clearly. So there are gaps. There are countries that uh, don't produce good data, and for these countries we have to produce estimates. We have to figure out some way to disambiguate. You know, a bomb blows up next to a shop, and there's military soldiers into it, and there's also civilians, and it might be captured in a terrorism database because civilians died. It might be captured in a civil war database because soldiers died. Grieved is going to be a registry of every violent death event that has location and time attached to it. We actually want to look at the question of violence. And so that includes violence in armed conflict, but it includes also criminal violence, it includes personal violence, it includes any kind of violence. So we're not going to pre-edit this. This will be a comprehensive events-based database. Well, the registry is going to capture some of the gaps. These are deaths that are not captured in other databases or other sources or other coding methods and it's going to help us to reconcile some of the duplicates. The credibility comes from the number of institutions that are involved that have been involved in data collection and analysis in the past, being able to come to one agreed upon approach. A registry would be a list. So you would be not only counting numbers, but you would be counting persons. In many cases, uh, families and uh, grieving communities, they want recognition, they want to know what is happening, and they want to have some justice. Grieved is going to help us understand when we are doing violence prevention well. We're getting better at violence prevention. There are good examples of where that happens, but there are lots of places where we don't do violence prevention well, and so we need to monitor violent deaths better and that will help us to know where we're succeeding and where we're not. Especially the methodological approach that is proposed, uh, that is making use of machine reading, uh, artificial intelligence, new technologies. There is a huge potential for this. This potential would practically open the door to unlimited <laughs> opportunities. There are enormous challenges in, the, in setting up Grieved. Information comes from a multiplicity of sources. We need to be monitoring sources in several different languages or we will be missing a lot. We cannot just go for national reporting on figures. We need to be looking into what the news reports are on individual events, and this is extremely complex. The second thing is that if we leave the big data handling simply to machine coding, we'll probably go wrong with that as well. So we need to include both people using their judgment and their knowledge as well as machine learning and machine coding. We need to resolve some definitional issues, so we're going to have a common ontology, and then through this consortium we're building a common research infrastructure so we can solve a lot of the technical issues that we need to build that registry. If we're measuring progress, then because we'll be measuring it in a detailed way, event by event, location by location, we'll be able to see what policies and what approaches work for reducing violence and what don't. We'll be able to see what, what the contextual factors are that explain why violence is particularly difficult to reduce in this country compared to that and so on. So we'll have much more detailed knowledge and through the more detailed knowledge we will get more accurate and well calibrated policies and approaches and we will be able to, we, humanity, will be able to reduce the levels of violence that we inflict on each other. Thank you.